look. They have the Michael Myers door greeter. What is he, a lunch lady with this hairnet here? Can I get an extra chocolate milk, please? Or maybe a Sloppy Joe. Slop, Sloppy Joe. <laughs> Alright guys, today we are in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, where we have found another Spirit Halloween. I believe this used to be an H.H. H. Gregg. Because you can see right under the Spirit Halloween where it says appliances and electronics. Plus, I think I've filmed here before at least once, maybe twice. And this lucky little guy over here just got some stickers. Anyways, I'm wearing my Freddy shirt and my Freddy shoes. What are those? So I am definitely ready for Freddy and whatever else this awesome Spirit Halloween has in store. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, ghosty doors. Thank you, other ghosty doors. Right up front, we have the Barfamet. All right, this guy is creepy looking. Let's just look at him a minute. Look at his yellow eyes. I do like that. He's just too evil for me, though, but that's just me. All right, guys, I do see that they have... There was just a fly trying to get me. Did you see that? I do see that they have some animatronics set up that I have not seen in other stores. Okay, maybe I have seen them in other stores, but at least they're set up. Okay, we're going into the Halloween factory, and first off is the Hauntress. Okay, Hauntress, do me right. Ooh, there you go. She didn't jump out as far as usual. Usually, she jumps out a lot farther, and then over here, there should be... The scream, the, the ghost face, which is basically just like the sister or brother to the Hauntress. I know I'm talking about you still. Give me five. Okay, let's go through the chains of death. We love the chains of death. Uh-oh, I didn't hear any sounds when we went through the chains of death. Let's try it again. Chains of death. Okay. Even though there's no sounds, there's still fun. So let's go through the chains of death again. And we can't forget about the deadly pumpkin guts on the floor. And let's just take a second to look at these awesome skulls on the top here, adorning the sign that says how many days are left till Halloween. Of course, for people like us, it's always Halloween. But for everyone else, there's 28 days. Okay, let's see what's over here. First there's Hen, wait a minute, no. First there's the spooky bricks. You gotta love the spooky bricks. But aside from the spooky bricks, there's Henry Hustle. All right, look at his cards. Look at the scary spooky skull on his cards here. Oh wait, look, oh my gosh, look. <laughs> you can see his scary head peeking out at us. He's ready to pop out. Now, I don't know if he's gonna work. Let's give him a stomp here and see. No, he is not working, guys, but I'll tell you what. It's worth it to see him like this, because I think it's so hilarious that those eyes are just peering out at us. Henry, you are one silly guy. Excuse me, Henry, your neck eyes are looking at us. All right, let's move on over here to the sitting scarecrow. Let's see first if he jumps at us if I try to take his candy. No? <laughs> All right, let's use the foot stomper here. Come on, oh, there we go, there we go. I hear you, mister. Look at your eyes. Black eyes of the sitting scarecrow. All right, mister, you deserve some stickers. Let's move on to Buzzsaw. All right, mister, show me what you got. Show me what you got. I don't think he, he's not turned on either. Guys, they are like in the middle of setting everything up. I can even see over there that they don't have the, uh, the conveyor belt set up yet. So Mr. Buzzsaw is not working, but he does look awesome. Look at his face. <laughs> I do see that they have a handful of awesome animatronics on the floor for sale, but let's look over here. We got these guys getting prepared to take their shift as everything gets set up for the pumpkin carve -o -matic. I told you this was a H.H. Greg. Look, digital home theater. Okay, let's see who we have set up over here. All right, let's first go to the jumping spider, the red and black jumping spider. What do you got for me, sir? There he is. You always do such a good job at spooking us. Hold on, let me fix your broken leg here. There you go. Okay, buddy. We got the harvester of souls, but I don't think he's quite ready yet. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I guess he is. Here we go. No fog on this guy. Maybe later, though, because they are still setting up. I hear you, Mr. Wacky Mole. Okay, keep going. Let's hear you. Oh, now you want to shut up. Okay, let's do it again. Come on now. 
Come on now with your candy corn teeth and your spiral Step eyes. Right up, boys and girls. Who's next? Me. To get by my hammer. Um, not me. <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky Mole, club me over the head. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get whacked by the Wacky Mole. Get your paycheck and get out of here. We got Mr. Skeleton over here. Mr. Dark should be right here, but he's not here. So let's take a look at Mr. Skeleton. What I want to show you on here is that if you notice me limping around today while I'm in the stores, it's because my foot has the gout right here on this toe, on this joint, and it hurts so bad. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, thank you for posing for me so I could show everybody about the gout. Seriously though, it hurts and it kicks in for about three days at a time and I can barely walk. I would be willing to bet that this guy has the gout, but I'll tell you what he doesn't have, Aqua Fresh. Excuse me, sir, you need a happy hour at the dentist? They give you free toothpaste and toothbrush and everything. You won't regret it, sir. Oh, look, they have the Michael Myers door greeter. What is he, a lunch lady with this hairnet here? Can I get an extra chocolate milk, please? Or maybe a Slobby Joe, Slop Slobby Joe. All right, Michael, I'm sorry. Let's see what you got to offer. Spooky eyes. Ooh, they're flashing at us too. And the Michael Myers Halloween theme. This one's from H2O. I just watched that the other night. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. This guy is not the lunch lady. Oh, okay. I almost didn't recognize you. You smell so different when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's look at the inflatables. We got the four foot light up inflatable big green eye. That reminds me of Mike Wazowski. I must have read the map wrong with my one eye. We got the six foot inflatable skeleton hands, the eight foot inflatable light up reaper, the eight foot inflatable light up ghost, the eight foot inflatable light up Frankenstein, and the six foot inflatable light up skull. This is actually one of my favorites. I'd love to have about 10 of these in my front yard. Oh, we got the five foot inflatable inflatable light up haunted tree. Ooh, I almost forgot about the animatronics over here. Look guys, they have a Barfamet for sale and they have a 36 inch animated Reaper greeter. I love this guy. Look at that spooky skeleton face. We got Bubba Man's Possessed Friend. Look at those eyes. We got the Sitting Scarecrow. And look, we got Grim. I don't think I've seen a Grim available in a store yet. Good job, Cuyahoga Falls. We got a whole stack of jumping spiders. We got the black jumping spider. We got the black and red jumping spider. Do we have the brown? Where are you, Mr. Brownie? I don't see any brown jumping spiders. All right, guys, we got the Sam Greeter over here. And he's surrounded by posable dummies. Look how real the hands look on the posable dummy. That is really cool. All right, I gotta look at Freddy over here a minute. Because when I was putting on my Nightmare on Elm Street shoes, I was trying to figure out if I had Nightmare on Elm Street socks. And I don't. So I wanted to see what they have, even though I've looked at them before. Okay, I have these right here that have like the, uh, well, it's, it's striped like the sweater, and then they have the claw marks on here, Elm Street sign, okay. We got these right here with Freddy's face on it, which, I don't know, I wish the face looked better. That would be really cool. Um, oh, that says never sleep again, so that's cool. And then we got the Freddy versus Jason booties. I'm certainly not gonna wear these. Although Freddy versus Jason is definitely one of my favorite scary movies ever. I think these would go cool with the shoes, but, they just look so small. They don't even look like they would fit me. But they do have an awesome Nightmare on Elm Street beanie. Look at this, we got the hat, the glove, the Elm Street sign, and it says Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's colored like his sweater. And they have the Supreme Edition Nightmare glove. Look at that, that is such an awesome glove. I thought about buying that, but I don't think I will. <laughs> I gotta be very limited with what I buy. Which reminds me, somebody told me the other day that they have an Uncle Charlie doll, so I gotta go see if they have one of those in stock. If they had it, it would probably be in one of these aisles over here. Hello, Mr. Two-Head. Hello, rat. Let's see if the Shaking Reaper works. Oh, yeah. Ah, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, he's not in that aisle, but maybe down here. No, I don't see him, and I don't see a burrito baby either. Wait a minute. Okay, here's the haunted dolls. If they had him, it would be hanging right here. It totally cracks me up that they call this one Eerie Emma, and they actually give her a name. But this one, they just call the decrepit haunted doll. They don't even give her a name. What do you want your name to be? We could call her Donna. 
decrepit Donna. At least she'd have a name then. Hello, Gorius George. Hello, and hello, Spider Biter Billy. You gotta love this guy. Look, he's got the spiders in his mouth. I point that out every time because it's so cool. And I know we love looking for the burrito baby, but if you guys see a cat dog, let me know the zombie cat dog. Because I have not seen him since the New Jersey store, and somebody in a store even told somebody that it doesn't even exist. But we know it does because I saw it and I got it on film. Isn't that right, Spider Biter Billy? Oh, look. Right underneath the Michael Myers sleigh pillows is the sitting Sam doll. I haven't seen him in a lot of stores, but he is pretty awesome. He's probably one of my favorite Sam props that they have. Holy crap, yes, they have Billy Butcherson's head. I just watched Hocus Pocus the other night, Saturday night. If you guys have not seen my Saturday night snack and a movie videos, make sure you watch them because we always watch an awesome movie and make an awesome snack. And this is Billy Butcherson's head. Man, that hair is an atrocity. <laughs> However, in the movie, his hair is an atrocity too, so. Okay, how much is Billy Butcherson's head here? Let's see, 39, 49, 39.99 for Billy Butcherson's head. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. All right, Billy, I think we're gonna have to wait for another day, but I promise when I buy you, I will take you to the salon. Okay, now this is sweet too. It's a skull morning star. I thought it was called a mace but it's called a morning star. And look, he has bones in place of what would be like nails. Cause usually these are made with a ball on the end and there's nails sticking out of some kind or spikes, but he has bones. I gotta say their masks are very well displayed in this store. Look, they have a Captain Spaulding mask. I'm not really a fan of the House of Thousand Corpses movie, um, but this is a pretty cool mask. Oh, look, I almost missed it. They got a Hugs doll. I actually bought a Hugs doll the other day and I've been using him in a lot of my cameos. Oh my gosh, guys, I was about to leave and then I realized I have not come over here to see Sam. So many times I've almost missed Sam because they set him off to the side over here. Come on, Sam, do your stuff. Come on. All right, it's not working. I'll do it for you. <laughs> All right, Sam, buddy, I didn't do it as good as you, but I still tried. All right, before we leave, I'm gonna leave some more stickers right by the blood. All right, guys, that is it for the Cuyahoga Falls Spirit Halloween. This bush smells like cat pee and my foot hurts, so I'm out of here. I told you to stay away. Oh my God, <laughs> what are those?